Hey, Jeffrey Craner here. Before we start this episode, I wanted to remind you that not only is there a ton of cool Night Vale merch, just go to welcometonightvale.com, click on store, but that merch changes all the time. And today, September 1st, we added three new items. First is a really baller glow cloud umbrella. It's beautifully designed by Rob Wilson. Like it's cool for fans of our show, but also it's just a really gorgeous umbrella. Go look at it at least, just go check it out. Also, we have some brand new temporary tattoos. All tattoos are temporary tattoos, but these slightly more so. And finally, we added a vague yet menacing government agency jacket. It's like that classic navy federal jacket with bold yellow lettering that will boldly let people know that you're on a covert operation. So go check all of these things out. Uh, I think you'll love them. And also while you're there, if you see something else you like, I would say just get it because in order to make room for new things, we constantly have to remove old things. Nothing, and I mean nothing, in this life is permanent, including podcast merch. So that's welcome to nightville.com. Click on store. And finally, thank you everyone who's been signing up to the Nightville Patreon and also also those who've upgraded their membership this month. We honestly cannot do this show without you. As I write this, I'm about to go hang out with a few dozen Weird Scout Patreons on Zoom, which is something Joseph and I do once or twice a month. There are a lot of other cool benefits for Patreons at different levels, like director's notes and artwork for each episode, short stories and plays from before we were writing Night Vale, and brand new this year, an ad-free feed of the Night Vale podcast. So check that out at patreon.com slash welcome to Night Vale. Okay. I think I covered it all. Get vaxxed, wear your mask, stay sweet, and have a kick-ass end of your summer. And hey. Live, laugh, love. Or die, cry, despair. Your call. Welcome to Night Vale. Let me start today's show by saying how much I love you, listeners. You make this station what it is. I bring you the news, unbiased, direct, and honest. And you listen every single day for, oh, um, how many years now? What? Who can even know? The point is that we're a small community with a small radio station and a dedicated listenership. I hope you know that you can always call or write in and let me know what you think about my broadcasting. And many of you do. Good or bad, I'm so thankful for everything you have to say because it means you care. This is how this business works, or should work. But, you know, maybe I'm getting old. Maybe the business of this business is passing me by. Station management hired radio consultants to help shape our program my program, to reach a wider audience. This morning, two brothers named Mike and Cash came into my prep meeting before my broadcast began. They were very nice. They told me they thought I was great, doing an awesome job, that they weren't here to tell me what I was doing wrong. They just wanted to tell me everything I could be doing right. The name of their company is Team Having Fun. Yeah, this all seemed fine, I told them. I'm a team guy, because I don't like upsetting station management, and I like having fun, within reason. I told them to feel free to listen to my show for a few weeks, and then we could schedule a meeting after that to talk about their ideas. But that's not what Mike and Cash had in mind. They immediately signed me up for the Team Having Fun Slack channel, and told me they'd be updating me throughout the show with ideas from their remote focus group. I love this already. It's going to be great. And now, the news. A report this morning from Old Town Night Vale of a possible alien abduction. Beth Jones, owner of the combination dog training studio and CrossFit gym at Harrison and Somerset, was deadlifting six bull mastiffs above her head when suddenly a bright light from the sky shone down on her. Witnesses said Beth was pulled into the air, along with the dogs. Beth was still counting her reps aloud. 
According to the report, she had completed over 250 lifts as the light enveloped her entirely. The bull mastiffs remained in sitting position, not barking or jumping because Beth is a talented dog trainer. And those are good dogs. Good, good dogs. Beth's neighbors and friends were reasonably alarmed. Casper O'Kelly, who lives next door to Beth, said, Seeing our friend get taken by aliens is really scary. I'm scared, okay, but also I'm kind of excited. Like, you hate to see someone you know get abducted, but also like, wow, you get to see an alien abduction live right in front of you. Casper continued, okay, now I'm imagining all the really cool, um, uh, 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 terrifying experiments being done to Beth. Whoa, like being frightened is kind of fun. Casper then jumped behind a bush and told the reporter, okay, 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 pretend you don't see me and then walk by here and I'll scare you. You'll see, it's fun. You'll see, you'll see. What is, oh no, oh boy. Another message from team having fun slack. <clears throat> Focus groups don't like hearing bad news. So if you have to report bad news, try inserting a funny sound effect every three sentences. But that's not really my style to, oh, okay, you know what? The hallway to station management's office is glowing red. So I, uh, I am on team having fun. Of course I can play funny sound effects during a serious news story. Great, super great. There are a lot of unlabeled audio files here on my board, and I'm sure they're all hilarious. We have breaking news on the alien abduction. The entire Desert Flower Bowling Alley and Arcade Fun Complex has been abducted. How do you abduct an entire building? Oh, wait, that was three sentences. Okay, let me see here. Uh, how do I play one of these drops? Uh, here we go. <laughs> yep, funny sound effects totally working. The bowling alley was closed at the time, but daytime shift manager Samuel Barkway was on duty in the building. Samuel, as many of you may know, is a former resident of the civilization below Lane 5 that attacked our town almost a decade ago. Samuel, being a peace-loving person, defected from his own civilization to become a resident of Night Vale. <laughs> Woo! Samuel struggled for years to make ends meet. He was met with distrust from much of our community because he was from a warring state. Yet, Desert Flower owner Teddy Williams found it in his heart to give Samuel a job, a place to stay, and public support. <laughs> ah. Woo. So, Samuel. You will be missed. I hope you're okay wherever you are. What is it now? <clears throat> Focus group liked the sound effects, but not as much as we had hoped. New plan, play with your pace. Sometimes you get into a predictable rhythm. What? <clears throat> that lulls your listeners, keep them on their toes by speeding up and slowing down. Great. Okay, let's try this out on a local interest story. Last night was the first annual media softball challenge at Mission Grove Park. Our community radio station made up one of the teams, which included me, my new intern, Patrick Siren, and our sales team, all of whom are named Sean. We took on the staff of the Night Vale Daily Journal, which consisted only of editor Leanne Hart. All of the equipment was provided by the World Sporting Goods Capital Conglomerate LLC, which just opened a new location over by the Ralphs. I don't really play sports at all, but the balls and mitts and everything were so nice. They had metal bats too, but I didn't realize that until I got there. And they were cool. I just love the sound of aluminum hitting anything. The game was not that exciting. The Daily Journal won 20 to 1. Our station's team started out strong when intern Patrick hit a leadoff inside the park home run off to Leanne Hart. 
But knowing she had no other players on her team, she disemboweled Patrick with a hatchet and then placed his eviscerated corpse on top of home plate as a warning to anyone else who attempted to swing at her pitches. And so we didn't. We kept cool. I looked for a story about Leanne's vicious crime in the paper this morning, but there was nothing. Nothing at all. To the family of intern Patrick, he had a great form on his swing and a terrific follow-through. He will be missed. Listeners, more breaking news. I'm getting word that the alien spacecraft has been abducting people all over town. Witnesses describe the ship as a large disk with blinking lights all around the edge. Below the saucer shape is where the bright light beams down, and in the windows of the vessel are beams of astonishing structure. The ship was last seen over the Barista District and... Oh no. Um, reports are coming in that the entire Barista District has been abducted by the ship. I... Oh, come on. Doing great as always, Cease. Ugh. Focus groups loving the new energy, but they don't like how polished you sound. They think... You think... You're better than them the way you speak so smoothly and preparedly. You don't sound natural. Try dropping written scripts entirely. Speak off the cuff, bud. Bud? Ugh. Maybe say um more often, like a common person. They want to know you're one of them. I am one of... Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Putting my pages down. I'll just do this community calendar from memory extemporaneously. How's that? All right, so community calendar. Uh, Thursday is the premiere of Tosca, which is an opera at the new old Night Vale Opera House. Um, Tosca, right. That is the one, uh, it's, it's probably a, there's always like a soprano courtesan with an alto friend that falls in love with a tenor uh, and there's always a baritone that's trying to break them up. Anyway, whatever. That's on Thursday. Um, Friday. Okay, Friday, Dark Owl Records. Um, okay, there's going to be a concert by, a live concert by Megan the Stallion. No, Megan the Stallion. Yeah, but it's all acoustic. Um, she's going to be singing her hits, which uh, include that um, looking at life from both sides now. Um, I could drink a case of you, whatever that song is. Um, and um, 1999. It's more of a dancey song. Uh, there are unfortunately no tickets available right now um, because Michelle Wynn and uh, her girlfriend Maureen have decided that this is really just uh, a date that are going on. And it's really just for the two of them because I don't think they're in an open relationship right now. Okay, so Saturday, over at the rec center, uh, we're going to be starting some pottery classes. Uh, these are classes for beginners, so you don't have to have any previous experience. Um, but things that you will learn how to make include uh, clocks, keys, and bongs. And Sunday is... Oh, crap, what's on Sunday? You know, I don't know. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Ah! <clears throat> Doing awesome. Killing it, guy. Oh, God. Focus group loves this common folk thing you're doing, but like, you still sound like a radio dude. Don't think of this as a radio station, Cecilio. Uh, mm hmm. Think of it like a bunch of friends sitting around a bar, eating nachos, drinking suds, chit-chatting, you know. Consider eating on the air, get a snack, give us that normal fellow vibe. Team having fun, out. Jesus. Okay. A bunch of bros in a bar eating nachos. Talking news. Fine. Here we go. Uh, breaking news, Night Vale. The entire city hall, including all of the city council, has been abducted by the alien spacecraft. And now, it's completely gone. No word on how this ship 
which is approximately the size of one and a half Applebee's, can fit an entire city hall, a bowling alley, and a barista district in its hold. But I'm sure none of those who have been taken from our quiet little community are still safe. Oh, hmm. God, the horrible experiments being done to them, it's too awful to think about. But also, you know, kind of exciting. Like, I don't want to make light of it. It's super frightening what's happening, but like in a thrilling sort of way. Because, you know, being scared is sometimes fun. Like, I don't know, like a haunted house or a horror film or operating a microwave. Oh my God, thank Phil. Um, I can see the alien craft through my window right now and it's headed right for the station. Um, I don't know if it plans to draw us into its deadly beams, but maybe I should go and save myself. No, no, no. Of course I shouldn't. I mean, I'm a newsman. I'm your newsman, Night Vale, and I would never leave you when there is news to cover. It is my duty to you, Night... Oh, come on, what now? Mike and Cash, what do you... Focus Group hates the spaceship. You need to get rid of the spaceship. CC, please respond. Okay, I swear to... Mm. Okay, fine. We'll deal with it. Um, listeners, Mike and Cash have just run out to the front of the station and they're waving frantically up toward the flying saucer and a light, oh my God, it's so bright, is shining down on them and there they go, drawn straight up into the hull of the ship. And just like that, the spaceship is gone. Wow. Um, well, I guess we should celebrate honor their memories with um, a weather report. These are really good chips.
Night Vale, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the aliens are still here. I do, however, love to be the bearer of good news, which is that the aliens have returned all of the people and places they abducted. Unfortunately, they didn't do it right. City Hall is now in the Barista District, and the Barista District is now where the Bowling Alley was, and the Bowling Alley is where City Hall was, but facing the other way. Daytime Shift Manager Samuel Barkway at the Desert Flower said he's so happy to be back home, and he reported that the NBA Jam Machine in the arcade is now a Galaga, which will be very disappointing to my brother-in-law, Steve. But super exciting to me. It'd be nice if the aliens had put it all back the way they found it, but one should never look at a gift horse. The point is, everything and everybody has been returned. Beth Jones from the Combination Dog Training Studio and CrossFit Gym is also glad to be back in Night Vale. She claimed, though, that she endured some intense procedures by the aliens. They surgically removed large sections of her brain through her nasal passage. Then they replaced what they took with new, more powerful brains. And Beth can now speak in over 2,000 additional languages, although none of them are Earth languages. But still, it's kind of neat, she said in Zilzarian, the language of the Ross 128 star system. Oh, and the Mastiffs are telekinetic now. Now, of course, Mike and Cash have also returned, and honestly, I'm happy they're okay. Look, I'm sorry if I sounded irritated with them, or pleased that they were abducted, they were just doing their jobs. And they really do live up to their name, Team Having Fun. Speaking of doing their jobs, they also acquired a new client, which is kind of a relief to me, because they're too busy with that to keep sending me silly ideas on Slack. Conversely, station management looks super angry. But there's not a lot they can do about it, though. Team Having Fun's new clients are the alien abductors. And even station management is afraid of irritating our potential intergalactic destroyers. But Mike and Cash seem to really be connecting with the aliens. They've been added to the Team Having Fun Slack channel, and they're receiving tutorials on how to use Twitch. According to Mike and Cash, focus groups do not like aliens abducting people but they love watching them play Rocket League while eating edibles and trash-talking 13-year-olds on the internet. Team Having Fun is currently communicating all this to the beings of astonishing structure via their new translator, Beth Jones. Good work, Beth. Also, good luck, Team Having Fun. I'm pulling for you. Like you wouldn't believe. Stay tuned next for Cat News. The news for cats by cats about cats. And as always, good night, Night Vale. Good night. Welcome to Night Vale is a production of Night Vale Presents. It is written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner and produced by Disparition. The voice of Night Vale is Cecil Baldwin. Original music by Disparition. All of it can be found at disparition.bandcamp.com. This episode's weather was All This Time by Ellis. Find out more at ellissongs.bandcamp.com. Comments, questions, email us at info at welcometonightvale.com or follow us on Twitter at Night vale Radio or shout at a bird. Check out welcometonightvale.com for info about our 2022 tour. That's right, us. Back in a room with you, we cannot wait. Today's proverb, be careful what you wish for because your wish might not come true and then you'll be sad. <laughs>